Hi guys, I thought I would do what I got for my birthday. Even though I sound and look a bit rough, I'm really sorry, but I'm just feeling, feeling a bit ill. I lost my voice, it's kind of come back, but I just feel a bit meh. But I really wanted to get this video up for you guys. So I really hope you enjoy what I got for my birthday. I've got loads of really nice things this year and I'm so grateful. But yeah, if you wanna know what I got for my birthday, my 26th birthday, in a few days when I'm wa when you're watching this I think it will either have been my birthday or just before um because I have no idea <laughs> but yeah 26th birthday I am quite excited to be honest I um also don't want to be 26 I think 25 sounds nice <laughs> but yeah I really hope you enjoy my what I got for my 26th birthday 2023 like getting bits out my bag like my little birthday bag and they're all a bit random so hopefully this is like an okay order but firstly i got some books i got three books which i'm really excited about i have already read two of them and one of them is a new one um i got um binding 13 by chloe walsh archer's voice by mia sheridan and yours truly by abby jimmett Jimenez, I think that's how you pronounce it. But yeah, I have already read um, Yours Truly and Binding 13 and I really enjoyed them. So I just thought I'd ask for a couple of books and then I'm going away as one of my presents. So I really wanted a new book to read whilst I was away. And I've heard so many people talk about this, but it isn't on Kindle Unlimited. So I thought I'd ask for it for my birthday, but yeah. These books are, I'm going to drop them then, really good. Um, as you can see, Binding 13 is a hefty book. And all the books in this series, to be honest, are like 700 pages. But um, the Boys of Tom and series, it's so good. I love this book. I want the whole series, but I thought I'd just get one for now. Um, just building up a little collection. But yeah, this is such a good book. Highly recommend it. It's about teenagers living near cork or in cork i can't remember in 2005 it's so good it's sad it's like hot. honestly like it's just one of the best books i've ever read and this one is really cute as well it's i feel like it's again there's just like really cute things that happen in it and i don't know it's just really cute i don't want to give anything away but i love this i haven't read um part of your world yet though and i think that's the first book in this series and this is the second one but i need to get that one as well but yeah also i've really wanted some uggs but i'm not vegan i'm vegetarian but i just can't i can't get behind the idea of wearing like sheepskin so i asked for some like fake uggs and they literally just arrived um i got these from ego and i think they're really nice um they're like platform ones with like the, I don't know what you'd call this, like Aztec print around. But I really like them. I feel like I don't really mind about wearing like a fake brand, um, especially because these are obviously not sheepskin. I don't think anyway. I mean, they wouldn't be for like £25, would they? But yeah, I think they're really nice. They're quite simple. But I love the fact that I feel like people just look so good in these and I'm glad that I can finally wear some but not feel guilty about it. <laughs> but yeah, really like them. These are from Ego. I can link them down below if you want to see them. But yeah, I had to get them on pre-order. Um, but yeah. Next, I asked for a little disposable camera. Um, I do actually have Polaroids, but I love taking these away with me. I've already taken a few pictures. I have 17 left. And I think you get like 24. Um, so last weekend when all my friends were here, we took a few pictures and I took some. Uh, oh, you get 27 pictures. So I've already taken 10. But yeah, I'm going to take this away with me for the rest of the pictures. And I can't wait to get it developed. Although I did get it a bit wet and it's got a bit damaged. So I'm hoping it's all right. Because I'll be good if I can't see the pictures. But hopefully it's all right. But yeah, it's only like, it's like a little gift. But I'm really like, I'm so happy about this. I love disposable camera pics. Next, I got loads of makeup from my parents and I've literally gone a bit overboard. But when they're like, what do you want? I was like, I just want like top ups and new makeup because I haven't had any in so long. So let's get into it. 
Firstly, I got some mini Trigwell powder puffs and a marshmallow sponge. I love this sponge. I haven't had it in so long. So I've not even used it yet because I want to take it away with me. But I've never actually seen the Trigwell puffs. I think they've got some like mini ones because um, they look like, like a decent size. Just ooh. cute. You get like a little two pack there. But yeah, always ask for tools because I hate buying them. Then I got some bits from Made by Mitchell because I've only tried some eyeshadow palettes. I've never actually tried blushes. So I got a blush in Sweet Cheeks because I've been loving pink blush at the minute. I don't know if it'll focus. It's like a really nice, I'd say like a bright pink, really. But yeah, I've never tried these before. My voice keeps breaking. I've never tried these before and I'm really excited but yeah I've heard such good things about them so I'm, I just can't wait to use it to be honest I love cream and liquid blushes as well like I feel like cream products are just like better but yeah I'm really excited to use this and then I got a blush palette which looks really good how do I get this out do I just there we go which I was gonna, I was looking at all the blushes and then I saw the palette and I was like, I may as well try more than one. But look at the amazing colours that you get in this. Like they just look so good. And I was, I really wanted to try milkshake. So I'm really glad that that is in here. Um, but yeah, I probably won't use the purple ones, but they make really good eyeshadows. Although I've never tried purple blush. Yeah, I'm really, really excited about this. I don't know what it's actually called. Blame it on the blush. Next, I got my favourite lip liner from MAC in Whirl. I use this all the time. It's favourite lip liner ever. I want to say I used to use MAC Stone all the time. But my voice... <laughs> if you just hear it breaking, please, just let me be. But yeah, I literally love this so much. There's not much to say about it, to be honest. But yeah, favourite. This and MAC Myth is like my go-to lip combo. I got my favourite NARS foundation, although now my hair is a lot blonder. I feel like all my, like, foundations would be just looking really orange on me. So I've gone for Santa Fe, which is two shades lighter than the first one I ever got. But it looks like a really good shade. And I can always mix it in with the darker ones that I have. But yeah, very excited about that. I love that. It's the best foundation I've ever used. And then for skin tint, the Maybelline skin tint, second best. I got MAC Giga Black Mascara. If you really struggle with mascara, like transferring, definitely get this. It's really good. Just comes in like a little packaging. But I literally ask for this every year because nothing works as well as this. I got a... What, what is this called? All Nighter Spray by Urban Decay. I've not used this in ages. So, you know what? I was like, treat yourself. Well, mum treat me. <laughs> but yeah, I've needed a new setting spray. So I thought I would treat myself. I've been using the Mini Charlotte Tilbury's and they were really good. But I really want to like see the difference of this. Because I feel like every single person raves about it. And I've not used this in years. So, really excited about that. Next is something I've already opened, but my concealer ran out. Um, I just got an e.l.f. concealer. Um, I've never used it before, but I really enjoy it. And I was asking some of my friends what they use, and they all used this. So I thought I'd give it a go. I have Fair Warm. But I feel like I would have got this maybe a bit lighter. Um, on the skin, when I blended it out, it just didn't look like bright enough. Um, but let me know if you have a lighter shade i don't really know what the shades are to be honest but i did really like this i feel like it looked really nice it didn't crease and it's a hydrating one as well which i need under my eyes then i got the um pink honey bronzing face frosting i've seen so many people like rave about this i don't know what shade i got does it say buttercream I don't really know what this looks like. Maybe I should open it up. I feel like everyone on TikTok is obsessed with this product. So I had to give it a go. Can you just twist it? Oh, that looks like a nice colour. Buttercream. But yeah, I honestly didn't know what colour to get either. But this one seemed popular. So I'm really excited to try that. I'm currently using the um, 
foundation stick from Primark, which is actually really good to be fair. I will buy that again. I just, I hate going to Primark. It's so busy and I can't get this back in. Then I got some skincare bits. I also got um, the Kiehl's moisturiser, but I think I've already packed it away. <laughs> but the, um, I don't know what it's called, but the Kiehl's moisturiser, they got me that and I've been using it religiously. It's one of the best moisturisers I've ever used. Like it makes your face feel amazing. I can't even explain it, but yeah. I also got um, two ordinary serums. Used to use these all the time and then I think they just went out of date to be honest. So I got hyaluronic acid and niacinamide, which I'm excited to try again. I feel like I always see a difference in my skin when I use these, so I thought I'd go back to them. As I'm getting older, I need protection from the sun. Like, I'm already getting wrinkles that I never had and it's making me sad. Um, but yeah, I just got some like 50 plus from La Roche Pose. Pose. La Roche Pose. <laughs> Um, this is really good. I put it under makeup when I used to have it. Um, I think I have like a really mini one though. This seems like a way bigger size, but I'm going to take this away with me because even when there is winter sun, you should be putting this on, which I haven't been. That explains why I've got wrinkles. I need some retinol as well, to be honest. So next is what my friends got me. And it's so annoying because one of my friends is actually dropping some stuff off tonight. But, but I need to film this today or I won't be able to get it up in time for you all before I go away. And then it means I won't have a video for a really long time. So I'll include that in my birthday vlog, which will be coming after this. But yeah, firstly, look, if you're a Swifty, just look at this. I don't know if you can see what it says. It says, fuck the patriarchy. <laughs> How cute is that? I literally love that so much. I'm going to put this on my car keys, like literally now, because I'm obsessed with it. I think that is so cute. And obviously if you're a Swifty, obsessed. I wonder if people actually understand that if they don't listen to her. Do they? I don't know. Also, one of my friends went on my video that I did, like the Christmas wish list, and she got me a book embosser. I actually have no idea how this works um, or how it like all connects, but I'm pretty sure I'll make it work. But yeah, it says Library of Lorraine Dewhurst, and there's like flowers. It is so cute. I'll try and like... I don't know. <laughs> I was going to say I'll try and put it on, but I feel like I need Owen to help me, like, work it all together. I don't know if you're able to see inside it either, but it's, like, flowers, and it says Library of, and then Lorraine Dewhurst. But this is, like, the cutest thing ever. And even look at, like, the flowers. But how cute is that? I love that she went on a video and saw something that I wanted as well. So that's one less thing I need to ask my parents for for Christmas. But, yeah. Love this so much and I can't wait to put it on all my box. Next, another friend got me the cutest, like, are these called tumblers? This is from Daisy Street, just in case you're wondering. And I'm sorry, but how cute is this? She knows me my country music era at the minute and we went to a cowboy bar together on the weekend. It was so fun. But yeah, I love this so much. I like really don't drink water as well. So I feel like this will help me or if I'm being realistic, this will be full of caffeine free coke zero but i'm sorry how cute is that i can't wait to like sit on my meetings like but yeah i'm literally obsessed with this i think this is so cute also it's like bigger than my head then she got me the cutest mug oh. i know it's such like a cliche thing but does everyone not just love a good mug but she's put pets are my kind of people and i have a cat and she has a dog so she literally said it's percy and otis and i love it like how cute is that i love that so much i actually might make a little cup of tea with this after filming this but i love this it's literally the cutest thing i've ever seen in my life and i love the fact that it's like Percy and Otis together our little animals next she also got me some honey bubble bath which i'm really excited to use i've asked for loads of bath stuff for this birthday like owen's family have given me money to go to lush and get some bits for myself which it's so nice because I think every birthday or Christmas, I'm always like, can I have stuff from Lush, please? <laughs> because I love it. I just love bathing so much. But yeah, I'm really excited. I think it says honey bubble bath, which I think I might use this tonight. I feel like I deserve it, you know? But yeah, I'm sorry, how cute. I, the thing is, though, when things look this cute, I don't want to use them. Like, I'm sorry, look at that. Also, we had a conversation and like, I bleach my hair myself and like it's not the best 
<laughs> but to be fair, I use like a lot of Olaplex and like hair oils, but it started to like snap a bit at the top and like I just have like a bit of breakage and she's also blonde and said that she uses this on her hair and she noticed a difference of it. It's hair syrup by Rapunzel, pre-wash hair oil treatment. It says nourish, boost, sleeken, sleeken? Is that a word? I think it's silken. I don't really know. But yeah, enhance luster and revive lengths with this powerful syrup. And it's with grapefruit, um, sweet almond, flaxseed and pomegranate. And it's vegan, which I love. But yeah, I'm really excited to use this because she said that this has like saved her hair. So I am so excited. And I love that she's got me something that I actually need as well. Because I was literally like, does your hair do this? And she was like, yeah, I was like, okay, it's not just me. Because I feel like I should go to a hairdresser and get them to sort my hair out. But I don't, I, since COVID, I just can't imagine sitting there for three hours. Like I do my own nails, I do my own hair now. I feel like I just need to leave the house, but I just don't like it. But yeah, I'm really excited to use this. I'm probably going to use this again tonight because my hair, it's in need of a wash. Next from my sister, she got me, I actually got the new iPhone 15 Pro Max that she's on filming on. So I hope the quality is better or hopefully it is, it is good. Um, but she got me a really funny case to go with it and I will pop it here. Sadly, it's not coming time and I don't think it's going to come in time for my cruise, but my old case doesn't fit exactly, but it seems to be working okay. I don't know if just like maybe try and find one when I go away tomorrow, um, but it should be fine. But yeah, I'm really excited. It's from Case to Fire. It looks like Percy on the front. It makes me laugh. It's just really funny, but yeah, I'm really excited to have that. Um, I've never had a case to five case before, but I've heard mixed reviews, so I'm hoping that it's all right. I my current one's from Coconut Lane, and it's lasted me two years. But yeah, I'm really excited about it, and I'm just excited to have like a new case. I'm I'm loving the new phone as well, by the way. If anyone is wondering, it's like the pictures on it. When I first got it, I was like, oh, I think the pictures aren't as good because I took some pictures um, when it was dark. And I was like, oh, I don't know if I like them. But then literally the next day I took so many pictures. And I was like, it's incredible. Like if you're into photography, like filming stuff, um, it's literally amazing. I'm so happy with it. It was kind of like a little treat to myself, to be honest. Um, but I was due an upgrade, so it doesn't really class as a present. But I was like, you know what? It's my birthday. I'm going away. I want a new phone. But yeah, I nearly forgot because these were not together with everything else but one of my friends got me the cutest little plan i'm sorry i keep seeing this everywhere on tiktok at the minute like everyone was like if you're a taylor swift fan get down to mns one of my friends got it me and i literally love it how cute i just feel like i'm memorable but yeah this is so cute i literally i've had it on my console table so i was like just walked past it then and i was like add this in and then I also forgot about this because one of my friends kindly got me a lovely bottle of Prosecco and it was on my bar. And I forgot about this, but yeah, thank you so much. Can't go wrong. Do you know what? I used to not really like Prosecco or like Rosé, but at the minute, like as I've gotten older, I actually don't mind it anymore. Like, I actually don't mind it and I'm really proud of myself. I feel like I'm becoming a woman <laughs> at the big old age of 25. <laughs> Well, soon to be 26. I'm basically 26. But yeah, thank you so much. Lastly, let's get on to the things that Owen has got me, which, why is my hair like going crazy? Next, let's go on to the bits that Owen got me. I can't actually show you them because he has really treated me this year. So tomorrow night on Thursday the 23rd, he's taking me to Winchester for the night. We're going to go see the Christmas market. We've never been. It's like four and a half hours away from us, which I am so excited for. Um, we've booked some cute things as well. They have like a cool bar there called Incognito. I don't know if any of you have been, but it looks really cool, um, which I'm really excited about. We're going for nice food. They've got Christmas markets on. And then the day after, we'll be driving another half an hour or hour away to Southampton. And he's taking me on a cruise. Like, my boyfriend has literally got me a cruise like how crazy is that 
we're sailing on Friday on my actual birthday and we're going to Hamburg, Rotterdam, Bruges and Paris although we're not going to go to Paris because it's like three hours away from the port and I'm not spending like six hours of the day on a train but we'll see what we can do around there but how amazing is that it's my first ever cruise um I hate flying I am a bit seasick but I went and bought seasick bit tablets yesterday but yeah I'm really anxious about flying so hopefully like this is just a really nice holiday we don't have to fly anywhere but we get to visit like loads of places at once I'm so excited and I feel like I've been spoiled rotten like by everyone especially Owen like it's literally crazy but yeah how amazing is that I'm obviously gonna vlog it for you all hopefully I'm not ill um I, I kind of am getting a bit ill though I'm just praying that it goes away but yeah we're on the cruise for a week so this is gonna be our longest holiday together in like over four years that we've been together which I think is crazy we've never had like a week away we've been away for four nights the most which is crazy but yeah, any of the presents that I get, I will show you in my birthday week vlog, which will be coming after this because I love showing people and I'm so grateful. Everyone has spoiled me. They've got me amazing presents. And yeah, literally having the best birthday already and it hasn't even been my birthday yet. Um, but yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what other videos you want to see for the rest of the year because after this, I think birthday vlog, cruise vlog and then Christmas I don't know if I'm doing vlogmas every day or by like weekly just because the day we get back is um the first so I don't know if it would just be a lot like having to get the cruise vlog up and then all this up but yeah I mean we'll see we'll see it depends if anyone wants vlogmas daily or weekly or if you don't care but yeah I really hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you soon for a brand new video